Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman, TheCombatSystem.com. Got catch wrestling, combatives, advanced MMA. Showing you something that is happening in MMA, UFC, Bellator, and stuff. Guys are ending up sitting a lot of times against kids, like Indian style. They think they're safe. Everyone's going to like Marcelo and like trying to take their back, trying to pull hooks in, and all that jujitsu stuff. I say just beat the guy. Use some power, use some gravity. Gravity's free. That's catch wrestling, body weight distribution. Okay, every time the guy ends up in some kind of sitting thing, whatever it is, I'm gonna grab that lasso, Marcelo type over under hole there. I'm gonna do this and do my chest compression and keep it tight. But then what I'm gonna do is just drag him backwards and compress his head with my shoulder and head to the neck crank. Okay? So and, and I just did this like in a sparring drill. Anytime I get some kind of hold like this, even standing, he's off balance, I'll drag him back, backwards from standing. So if we're here, I'm just gonna pull him backwards and use my shoulder and my head tightness to compress and drop the weight and settle him down. Now, if you're a skinny guy with skinny little arms and you wanna switch at this point to a rear naked and slip that in, and obviously I'd be swelled out to this way. Um, I got the MMA gloves on, so I think that's more difficult and a little more risky to give that up. I'd rather use gravity. People call that power, but it's really not. So I'm letting his weight and my weight compress. It's not really so much strength. It's kind of like the Cobra neck crank. I'm submitting him on the way down. But if you wanted to switch right about now to shoot, to a rear naked choke and slip that in, you could, and then compress him. Now you'd obviously sprawl all the way out, maybe, and really put a rear naked in, <laughs> slide it in. But, okay. here, I'm going to drag him back, and I'm going to compress. And it's enough of a crank, like Mark Coleman did in Severn Neck Crank, to submit him because the shoulder blades are off the ground. And now there's going to be a lot of weight in the floor. Okay? I just got it from standing. Obviously. Sometimes, you know, spinning back fist, back side kick or something, and you end up like with the guy's back. You might end up with this just closing on the guy sometimes. Sometimes I'll break his structure, maybe with a knee bump and a little bit of wiggle. It's a seven style, and I'll come back this way, and I'll get the crank that way. And I've done it twice to him live, because this submission people don't know. They don't use, I'm not saying it's 100%. But believe me, I get a lot of guys with it, and you should know it and add it to your catch wrestling repertoire. Look at my DVDs on my site. Thanks.